Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Franks here with your weekly drone delivery of Rust news, where we're at that odd time of the month where things are twitching behind the development curtain, but we can't quite make out what they are. I'll try my best, though, as always, and if you wouldn't mind subbing to the channel whilst you're here, that'd be smashing. Thank you. So, currently, it's difficult to know exactly what will be included in April's big patch, but according to the commits, the focus seems to be on gestures and card games for a start. Sadly, I don't have anything to show for either of these yet, but what I can tell you is that it seems it'll be possible to have at least three players in a game, but maybe more. There are three chairs at each of the static tables as they are, but that could of course be subject to change. And as mentioned last week, although the team are keeping their cards close to their chests, I believe the game is going to be Texas Hold'em, but hopefully we'll know for definite soon. The gesture menu seems to be quite far along too. It hasn't made it to staging yet, but there'll be a key bind for some kind of gesture high menu probably. And there are two submarines pretty much finished now too by the looks of it, at least the models are. The big yellow one's a two-seater and the smaller unpainted one appears to be a solo vehicle. No word on when they'll be surfacing yet, but there must be more to this, right? I mean, it's not like there are any underwater monuments to visit. Yet. You know what? I really miss Sliant. I don't know, but hey, rowboats are rather Sliant again at the moment. Ooh, nice segue. Thanks. To be fair, it's more of a feature now, really, but it does appear to be fixed on staging, so enjoy it while it lasts. Again. In other stuff that's being worked on right now, there's a branch called Effects 2021, which I believe is an effort to backport a load of effects such as impact and explosions from the HDRP branch to improve visuals and, hopefully, performance as well. There are also a few attempts to improve performance in other areas, with a whole branch dedicated to random optimizations and some work to junk pile buoyancy so that it only runs when players are nearby. Kind of an if a junk pile spawns in the ocean and nobody is around kind of thing. There's still a lot being done to improve the AI of animals and NPCs, and talking of which, there's a new branch being worked on by Helk called Treebird. No, not Treebird, with mentions of a bird emitter and I'll bring you some more info on this when it becomes clearer. Right, very short and sweet today, but you know me, I don't beat around the bush. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, leave a like, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group to stay updated with my content, and I shall catch you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. This video is powered by AWDIT's producer range of workstation PCs, available now at awdit.co.uk. No, not tree beard.